I have a ton of testing and also to uh, showing off different forms of applications of new products we're working on. Uh, all these products are going to be used uh, in the um, installment for the uh, Legacy Smoke Lounge. So um, right now I'm testing out uh, an advanced version of a screen paint that we developed for fish tank applications allows you to have like um, this kind of cool fish display. Now even though the black mist does have that cave, but also this is a little different because it's blue. We wanted something to give it a more of a visual effect. The only thing we're going to be using it for is for fish tank applications only. It's not going to be used for home theater. Even though it does some pretty crazy stuff at home theater, it's not something we're going to use. You're going to get a chance to see this application on site because we're going to be doing a 150 inch screen and that's going to be using an Optima GT, uh, Optima GT 55, I have one of those too, that's why we advise that can be used as projectors. That's going to be about three feet, three inches from the screen, so this is going to be on site at the place. But I need to make sure that we can upgrade it, add something new to it, something different to it. So this is going to be strictly designed for uh, visual effects, for basically for tanks, for fish tanks, anything to display up the ceiling, walls, floors, all that cool stuff that we're going to be using it for. So I'm pretty much going to probably peek, uh, pre coat over my the uh, mats that I have. So I'm going to do some mats we're going to do. We we'll keep the other ones the other way because the other ones we use for visual effects and so forth. We use that for visual effects. But there's a, this stuff is invisible. There's actually a front and rear to this. So what it means you can spray it on glass. You can push images right through it. So that's what we're going to be working on uh, before next week. But a week before next week, but either way, we have to be in there and we have to have all this done. Done. In places where you do on site, you have to know this stuff. It has to be in your head. You have to have it tested. You have to know that it works. Can't come in there second guessing anything. It ain't gonna work like that, mind you. They're building this 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 uh, uh, business around us. So I mean, we have to make sure this stuff is gonna work and it's gonna look nice. It's gonna look professional. So you can't make it up as you go along. You have to be able to test all this stuff. So, right now, we're working on this right here. This is what I'm working on now. I've had this on thing on the wall for quite some time. It already sold quite a few times, but we want to make an invisible version of it so that we can coat on glass. There are several luxury fish stores in that area, and they just have these big, uh, boring decals right on the windows. I guess that's the best at that time they could have, you know. Now we got a technology that we can push images right through glass, right through sunlight, and they can display their beautiful tropical, whatever they want, a fish, coral reef, right through glass. And that's gonna bring a lot of attention. And for the fact, I, I don't think we're gonna get anybody gonna say no on that. The fact that you're gonna be able to turn your glass into a giant fish tank and you sell fish. So this is gonna come in quite handy. Aquariums, yes, I told you before that because of this, our partnership, because of the marketing and where they're gonna push our products at, we're going to be set up in major, major businesses. We're going to be sitting up there for these huge massive aquariums, like Marine World. This stuff would come in amazingly at Marine World or any form of um, of a place that they do uh, um, giant fish displays and stuff like that, marinas and stuff like that. This stuff is going to come in quite handy. So we're going to be doing some more testing and stuff like that. I got to get a fish tank in here, fill it with some water, blast the inside of it, project fish right through it, project the map, and there we have all this equipment here to do all this stuff. Let me show you that the screen is different because the wall we have is a dedicated uh, cinema black. When I walk in front of it, you'll see the color change. The screen is actually physically blue, but it can read and understand white light. Remember a while back when we were making those different color screen paints? All that stuff is research. Everything I do is research. So when we're making all those different color paints, we figured out a way, we're blessed to figure out a way how to get white light to push through a color surface without it having a trace of tint in it, which would look pretty awful. And you're incorporating other things. This is why all this test is testing is important. Now, as I told you before, well, I didn't tell you before, that us leaving the um, the, uh, pairing, the, or the caring place wasn't, and it's, it's a shame we got people that are that involved in my life at the end of the day, it's pretty sad. Um, the reason why we left because we couldn't get anything done. There was just nothing that could be done. Every time I go in, I feel like I was doing the same videos over and over again. It just wasn't working. And the reason why it wasn't working, we just didn't have resources in there 
to get things done. It's just virtually impossible. It's an uphill battle every single day. First day I came out of there, I complained about internet. We had no internet in the back. We can't size a projector. We can't size screens up. We don't know what to paint in. We don't have internet. I got to be to put a projector up there and see how close we got to have it to the screen, how small an image they want me to pick up, I mean, all that stuff. We need it in there. Right? Internet is a must. And it was a fight constantly back and forth in there every single day. Couldn't take it anymore. So everything worked out because when one door closes, another one opens. The minute I walked out of the building and came home, I got a call from the people at the Smoke Lounge saying, hey, look, we need you to come down uh, right away so we can do a walkthrough and talk about a few things, things have changed and what we're going to be doing and how where your screens are going to be at and, you know, what we're going to be doing and to discuss the contracts and things we're going to be working on for the future. So that's what I was down there doing. So it was amazing. Now I walk out of one situation and boom, we're in the other situation. So now they're telling us that, okay, what do you need? And I got a chance to walk in there. I measured everything out. I said, hey, we need a 150 inch screen. It'll fit in here perfectly. We got the height, the size. Uh, what kind of projector are we using in there? Uh, we have to go with the uh, ultra short throw. It has to be ultra short throw. And the reason why we couldn't use the NECs because the NECs have to be a little farther back. So we couldn't use those. We need a projector where it's gonna be close to the screen and where the customers want me to walk in front of it and cast shadows. So I had to go up on the bar, they have a little bar area, and go through my phone, go to Projector Central, look at different projectors, how far it'll be from the screen, which one will be the closest one. It was an Optima GT5500. We can get that at three feet and three inches from the screen, which is absolutely perfect. I have to go down to Home Depot and order the crown molding to put around the casing so it looks professional. And I have to run lead light so it gives up that soft glow like we have on a fish tank. It's going to be a virtual fish tank that we're putting in there on a motorized 150 inch lead screen. I had to go look at the ceiling because they had blueprints. And I look at the blueprints and I see exactly one section is going to have the duct system for basically drawing all the smoke. I think it's a humidor, I think that's what it's called. And the other half is going to have chandeliers. And our screens are going to go right in between that for the ceiling. That's why it's important that your product works in fully lit environments because we have to be in an environment that literally chandeliers are going to be up near the screen and we got to make sure it doesn't wash out and that's not going to be a problem because we did the test already. Ah, there you go. That's why you don't do fake demonstrations in the dark because again, you cheat yourself. So that's going to be installed in. Then the window glass application where I think it's much better when we do the, for the windows, that we do it with a pre-coated surface. This is much easier for the customers. There's a couple of stores around in that area where my sister's at, where I'm gonna be putting up those screens in there. And it's much easier because again, the merchant doesn't have to paint the glass. You know, it's some of the stuff might be permanent. We don't know if it's gonna be permanent or not. Even though we had one that did peel, but came up real nicely, but I still wanna be 100% sure. I don't wanna coat something in. And then they move and they can't take it with them. So we're gonna do a four by eight surface pre-coated. And that way they can stick it up in the window, do their advertising, they're done, roll it up, put it in a box, they're gone. So that's what we're going to do with that from the door. Anybody else that wants to do something customized with it, um, then you can just buy the paint. So two different versions, I'm going to pre-coat and non-pre-coat. <sighs> Let's see. Today I got to be in here with the short throw projector because now we do the ceiling. They want to know where the projector is going to be positioned at. They have to build a case around it. We don't want people tripping over top of it, people looking into the projector. So we have to have a certain place where the projector has position so that it can hit the screen and cause the visual effect off the ceiling. So not done yet. I have to go downstairs and I have to coat multiple tables now. Multiple tables because now the tables, they want to have a projection display in the middle of the table. The big projectors, not going to look pretty, not going to look nice. This thing's got to be like, like soft light, but it's got to be strong. So Pico projectors are perfect for that. Optima Pico projectors are the ones I'm picking for the setup. This is going to be a little tiny uh, tripod going to come down with the projector connected to it. And retropods are so small, I can connect the retropod to the side of it, and they can do some gaming right off the table. So we're going to be coating the table down with a special coating that basically they can scrape whatever they want. It won't crack. It won't peel nothing. It'll stay on the table with no problem. we got to do maybe about uh, 20 of those. So not done yet. I have to install an arcade. Oh, you know how much I like to do that in the day. Yeah, I'm going to floor light up. I'm going to put that gaming screen paint in there. It's going to be freaking sick. So they want, they're going to get a couple of retro arcade machines in there. And then they want a dedicated theater room. I'm doing that for free because that's what I love to do. And it's a good thing I got that experience when I was living in the house on how to install a dedicated theater room. So that's when I'm going to take that experience I learned from there and incorporate into that. And I showed them the dedicated theater room I designed out of a master bedroom. They loved it. So again, as I said, it comes in handy to know all this stuff. 
if they decide to do outdoor screens, you know we specialize in that area, so we'll be out there too for that too. So like I said, it's a lot of stuff that we're gonna be working on. Now, their establishment is gonna get a lot of pull. There's a lot of people connected. Even got some famous people coming in to check this place out. I am in the partnership with the owner, well, not partnership with their business, but they're gonna be partnership with my business. My technology is gonna be throughout this entire area and people are going to see it and he's gonna be advertising our products while they're in this establishment, including after all that's finished and done with everything being set up, we're gonna sign on a partnership because he knows he can make money off my company. We can work together and build something pretty nice out of this. And this is where it's gonna push my company into those very important key areas that I need to get into. And one of them is getting my behind into one of those shows so I can show off this technology to all these individuals at the end of the day. At these sites, like, you know, people who doubted us, like Projector Central and all that, where my technology pops up. And look, I got a special, special screen I'm working on. It's a screen I'm working on for this occasion. All I can say to you certified companies out there, when you see me in that booth, do not lay your screen against that product. It will end your stuff. I'm not joking with you. I'm dead serious. It will end your product. It's bad enough that when I set my booth up, my booth's gonna be a little bit special. I'm gonna have more lighting than they're gonna have in the day, of course, because we're used to thriving on lots of lights, and we're gonna not gonna be using expensive projectors. We're gonna use something like, uh, I can just use that Christie projector behind me right now. That's all we need. And we'll be to pull a 100% black level, which we know no screen in there will have that ability to be to do. Unless one of these guys come up with a black certified screen. Other than that, we own that area. Yeah, it's going to put us on the map. And they saw the same vision I saw. But before we get to all that, we have to have their own team of lawyers to make sure any new, do any new products we make will be locked in stone. Everything will be patent. Everything will be copyrighted. The whole nine yards of formality because we're dealing with bigger companies. And again, they're definitely going to come for me. And um, we're going to get certification for my products. So that way we can get in there. Yep, so that's what's going on. So all that happened when I left from there. As I told you before, that my technology and everything that I have comes from God. I will land on my feet no matter what. One of these haters could kick me off the side of a building and guess what? I'll survive. I'll land right on my feet every single time. Or God will pick me up and dust me off. I'm like, here you go. This is for you. You just don't, y'all can't stand the fact that I can come up with technology this fast and this quick because all my technology comes from God. At the end of the day, you don't have a battle with me. You have a battle with God at the end of the day. He protects me. That's who you're dealing with. That's the reason why I always land on my feet. God's not going to sit there and let his, his servant be destroyed by a bunch of demons at the end of the day. I will always land on my feet every single time so he saw the frustration i was going through at the caring place it's a good organization i would never talk bad about them it's just the communication barrier is extremely bad and when we have bad communication it's horrible can't build things if you can't com if you can't communicate with people and i'm in this environment and i'm like gee whiz man there's months going by and keep in mind if this had popped up in the middle while i was still there i still had to leave because now I got to devote all my time to a place that is paying me at the end of the day. I do volunteer work over there, and that's what I was. You can't get fired from volunteer work. I was never employed over there. It was an agreement, and I'm, thank God I didn't sign the agreement. And that's another thing I'm happy about, because I'd have been locked in a one-year agreement with them. And I'm glad that didn't happen. For some reason, that kept getting prolonged. So there's a reason for everything. When I'm coming to the house, I'd be a little frustrated, like, Lord, how come this contract hasn't been signed yet, and you know, this agreement? This, that, and the other, and the Lord was like, wait on it, wait on it, wait on it, let's see what happens. He already knew all this was going to happen from the door. And then we were going to have problems with him. And then we had problems with the electrician, which is extremely important. We needed outlets up there. He was dragging his feet. He didn't want to, like, he didn't want to work, but he, I don't know what was going on with him at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, it, it was nice. I get a chance to meet us, met some new people. I'm still in contact with a lot of them because I still have information we talk about back and forth. But on the other hand, it was just a complete headache because, again, I can only work in an establishment where people are going to be serious about business. And when I walk into this establishment, they ask me, what do you need? And I said, we need such and such and so. Send me the links. We'll order it. And you're good to go. That's it. That is it. That's the only way I can do business. I can't do business if the communication is this poor. Oh, let's have some fun with this. My goodness. I'm sitting here talking. Let's show what this baby's designed to do.
So, we're gonna make, uh, I ordered some stuff already from where I get my stuff from. Um, I ordered a, a version of it to allow to make it um, transparent. This is transparent, this coating is, and it has to be um, sprayed on, but we're gonna make a version that's gonna be a little bit more high tech. It's gonna have gamer technology, and it has to, because I need that fish to fish. The creamy did that pop really nice with the colors and stuff. And that's what we need. And this is only going to be used for fish tank displays. Oh, I cannot wait to get my house. I cannot wait to get my house. I'm going to do a giant aquarium for myself. But my aquariums will be interesting. Like, like this is going to be a virtual tank. I'm going to do my glass with ripples. I was talking about that, making glass ripple, like make it like in a wave and then basically coat this technology on and the fish are like they're moving in and out, in and out. That would look so cool. And I'm definitely doing a 150 inch glass projection screen. That's definitely going to happen. I've just seen what the mist looks like on glass. Gee whiz, it's gorgeous. Now I went online, I looked for, you have to look for commercial. It has to be commercial storefront glass. That's what you have to look for. It's not cheap, it's not cheap. One of them surfaces easy cost you a good six, seven grand, but I'm getting it. it, it it's, it's, I can't wait to see what I just saw on that one, well, a little bit much bigger size. All right, let's go look at some other stuff real quick. I'm gonna do this and I got some more testing to do. All this I have to do, has to be sent over to them so they can see what I'm working on and what's what's coming up next, stuff like that. So all this is research for the floor, research, all that stuff is research. Let's see, get the microphone hooked up in here. 4K demonstrations, white fish. As you can see, it perceives white light, even though it's blue. Yep. I just want to check out this for a minute. Now, can we use for other applications? Yeah, pretty much everything we design can be used for other applications. But I'm marking it as a aquarium, as a, a virtual fish tank. A paint on a virtual fish tank. But it has, you can do other stuff easily. That's what we're marketing it as. Now within our policy under the product that we will have on the website, if you choose to go outside the boundaries and use it for something else, remind you, if something goes wrong, you're out there on your own. But we already designed it for kind of a, like a virtual kind of a fish tank display. Be marketed toward, like I said, massive aquariums. People want to have these virtual tanks in their offices, they want to have them in their um, restaurants. What's the price tag? Well, the price tag is what they paid for was $578 a gallon. What they're going to be marketing for? Way higher than that. Once that contract is signed, and you see the website, this one, the website will disappear, but it turns into an information page. I'm not getting rid of all my videos, but the marketplace is gonna go. It's, it's not gonna happen. It's, I've explained people that a long time ago. If you sign a contract with a company, your marketplace has to go, because it's gonna be a conflict with price. They're gonna be selling it for one, one price, and you're gonna have it for another price. That is not gonna work. You're gonna have unhappy campers at the end of the day, it's not gonna work. So, something's gotta go. So these products will be available for a short time and then once the contract is signed, then it's going to be done. Now, a little bit of a heads up, because, and this is for your naysayers out there, we got to include you in this, because we're going to be signing a contract with, this, with another partnership with these people at the end of the day we're going to be doing business with, 
you won't be coming against me. You'll be going against them. At the end of the day, I'm researching development. I'm going to be in a lab somewhere, a warehouse, doing testing, giant screens, and all that stuff. If you want to come after me, I'll have my lawyers. I'll take care, we can take care of it in court. That's how we're going to do it. All right? And if you want to go after them and you want to contact them with a bunch of nonsense, your emails will be traced, you will be tracked down, you'll be prosecuted and brought into court. So you know that. This is going to be a corporation. So this is what's going to happen. I'm going to be on a big boy level. So you're going to be treated with the big boy lawyers, the big boy courtroom, the big boy problems. That's what's going to come your way. So you know this. Now for the other individual, we know it's you now at the end of the day. We had your emails traced and we know where they came from. Any establishment that you sent emails to, we sent your information to automatically from the door. We will be filing criminal charges, terroristic threats, cyberbullying, all that stuff is going to be filed against Jamie Fernando Gonzalez. So you know this is coming. I, I warn people from the door, don't do this stuff. And they think if they mark an email, John Doe, you can't be traced. Yeah, you can be traced. It's a digital age. Come on now. You got to be smarter than that. You got Congress and Congress, if I'm saying it right, people are uh, political power. Their stuff is encrypted and everything. If they can track down their stuff, what makes you think they can't track yours? Oh, my goodness. I would think the common sense would be there. All right, let me see. Oh, I want a game controller. I forgot we have a game controller for this. I'm going to go over here and check this out. I think we're going with this stuff. Uh, let's see. Um... I forgot we got microphones over there, I guess. I want to look at that Adobe, that Adobe, uh, Adobe 4K demonstrations. I just gave it something completely different. I mean, literally the program. Adobe. All right. Let's try her again. That's me mess it up. Adobe 4K demonstrations. We got Joby. Just give me Joby. They did give me Joby. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna do a city scene. I'm gonna do a the Adobe. They got a beautiful fish display over there. Play around. So it's showing it does have other applications, but strictly we're going to be using it just for fish. Fish tanks, virtual tanks, all that other cool stuff. It's going to be a spray-on application only, and yes, it will work with 3D mapping applications also. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the, uh, I need to get a fish tank and code it so that way we can actually punch images right in the tank. Still under factory level. Right. The updated Google Home app oh. makes smart home monitoring easier and more enjoyable than ever. Personalize your dashboard to quickly find your most used devices. Give you multiple methods. Dolby 4K demonstrations. I can say, oh, Joby. Why? Did you keep saying that? All right, let's do, uh, let's see if we can make it so we can understand it a little bit better. Uh, Dolby Digital 4K demonstrations. All right, there we go. Now we got you. I want to pull up something. This one. And I want to pull up. Um, where's the? Uh, fish. Got a nice one for fish in here. Yeah. 
new one. That's a new one. That's a new one. Oh, I definitely want to do that on the black. I gotta hang that screen up too, but I'm gonna see a bigger screen. I gotta do plexiglass too next. I'm curious if the reaction of plexiglass would be over glass. I'd still rather do glass projection screen than the back. You see the colors on there are really, really good, but we get, well, I want to enhance the colors. I want to make it much higher than this. There's a little more fish on it. Super, super, insanely vivid for our new Cinemax uh, screen paint. Because we want that core reef to really pop, high white levels, beautiful colors. That's very important when you develop this stuff. And again, like I said, it's going to be spray on application, it's going to be glass and plexiglass, stuff like that. It's going to be beautiful, outstanding color. But soon, I won't be marketing this anymore. Someone else is going to be marketing, which is going to be quite nice. So i got to educate them on basically what the product is. But it's not a hard product to sell or understand. For anything I design, I have to explain it to them what it is, stuff like that, you know, so they can market the product. Oh, man. Busy day to day. You don't have to pay for that. You just put it into a loop. That's it. You put it into a loop and cause it plays. Now, but you have that commercial free. That's what it is. That's what it comes out. You have to have commercial free. So they have to do one of the... They're going to be using fire sticks. The ones for the windows are going to be running through a, um, a flash drive for their advertisement. So it plays only their advertisement only. The one for the ceiling is going to be using a fire stick. So we're using the space like this. So we're definitely going to have to have commercial free, and the one for the virtual tank definitely has to be commercial free. The tables downstairs are just going to have retro pies on them. That's why I have my, I found my old retro pie, which is working, surprisingly, but I have it. And I have a people projector, so I can do those tests right there. So I'm pretty much going to coat this table over here and set it up. Because all that, I have to give them an idea. I can explain stuff to them, but they have to physically see it see exactly how I'm going to go about doing these tasks. 
We're just going to take three of us of 150 inch screen. We're talking to the electrician about it. Now, see, that's why I said in that place, the electrician, come here and say, hey, so what do you need? Go talk to the electrician, tell me what you need. I need an outlet here and the outlet here to put the projectors into. No fun, no problem. That's it, that quick, that fast. Before I left out of here, outlets were already installed in that fast. That's what I'm talking about. Not arguing with somebody about freaking eight freaking outlets and then going back and forth, back and forth, like, yo, we need outlets, we need freaking outlets. Can someone put outlets in? And we gotta clear it to most, we gotta clear it to the CEO. And the CEO's never there. It's a headache. I was like, nope, I can't do it. I'll be here forever. Not gonna work. So now I can sit here and take my time and get ready to start setting up my little um, um, intro demos for them to show them what I'm working on, what we're doing next. I got a special customized screen paint for the theater room. Theater room I chose for that room is 235.1, plenty wide screen in there. I have a person that I met, I've got a contact that I met a female on PayPal. I got to reach out to her. She does customized rugs. I want a couple for my house. I want a couple, especially Taco's room. I want a rug with his face on it. It says Taco at the bottom, and I want a couple customized rugs for myself. She does customized rugs by hand, and he's very interested in working with her. Um, the barbecue chef, that's another person who I've been talking to back and forth. He makes this, I can't wait to go down to North Dakota to check out the food he makes. We're gonna have it in the restaurant. That's what I'm talking about. See, once I'm, I'm connected, I can help people out of the end of the day. And those other people who decided to, well, you know, you're not getting anything from me at all, period. See, if you did things differently, I could have your product in a place like that. But you didn't. You treated me like garbage. So therefore, not no help for you. But she does these beautiful rugs. So the dedicated theater room, I need a rug, a nice red rug, something that's gonna match the um, drapes in there. I need it with their logo on it. And I gotta contact them to get a hold of because I haven't spoken to her in a while and I'll let her know that I'm still interested in the product and uh, I'll have some pictures and stuff for her. There are people I gotta hire and bring on board for my part, for my research and development part, of course you have to sign all these contracts on the crazy stuff of the day. But yep, I can I'll really sit down and hire people. Mind you, I'll be doing manufacturing, and since I'm doing manufacturing, the development part will be on me. But manufacturing, I'm going to need forklift operators. This stuff has to be packaged, it has to be labeled and sealed, and all that good stuff. And it has to be on a pallet on a truck, and it has to be shipped where they want it to go. So I know a few forklift operators, so we can get them in there. So that'd be nice. And I met the IT guy. The IT guy is cool, put it way. And he's going through the same thing I'm going through. It's just that communication barrier is a headache. That's what it is. But he's a pretty cool dude. So I'm bringing him on board because um, he, uh, I was asked him about, we want to do our own kind of um, simulators. I want a simulator. I would love to have a freaking giant mech simulator, huge massive screen with a projector in the back and a chair that moves back and forth with it the way I want to do it. And he was telling me how he would go about basically uh, integrating the, the software and whatever to make it react that way. Feedback, information, all that stuff. And it's got something pretty crazy, crazy intelligent. So I can't wait to have him on board to work on some pretty cool projects. All right, let's come out of our fishy, fishy area here. It's very important that we can have all the lights on because a lot of these virtual tanks that we're going to be designing are going to show up. Uh, oh man, that's a really cool idea right there. Can't say nothing about that. Thank you, Jesus. That's an amazing idea. Oh, I gotta write that down. That would be sick. I wonder how that would react. That right there, I can never post on YouTube. Can't post that on YouTube until we get that locked in. That is a good idea. I'll have to do some research on that. So, I know. The naysayers are saying, well, he's not on site, he can't do that. You have to understand, while I was on site, I got a chance to get a ton of research done. I got access to windows that allowed me to be able to understand how the product will work. And then I got a chance to go on site and test it again, which it ran over there with no problem. That was the one application with the black mist over there. So I got all the information that I need. The place did exactly what the sun do. It gave me a ton of information, areas to work out other than here, and it gave, me, it gave me a chance to show off that our products can work other places besides in the apartment or in the house. 
So I got what I needed out of it. But also, too, on top of that, right now, I'm stuck in research. I'm going to be stuck in research for the next couple of days because I have to make sure that everything that we're installing in this place is going to work 100%. That's why my place looks like this now. We got all the projectors out over here. We got the computer that doesn't even work. I got all my stuff set up over here. I got to go online. All this stuff is being set up. We got the floor projection equipment set over here because I have to do I have, all this has to be tested everything I walk over this over and over and over again to make sure it's working and all this stuff now is in here so I can basically do my research so that way when I come back next week I have all the information needed and I can start telling them what to order I can't have them order something bring it in and it doesn't work that's gonna cost them money at the end of the day so yeah everything has to be researched then I gotta be online I gotta go through tons and hours and hours our research on equipment and projectors, what we're going to be using in the environment, what's going to work best. All that stuff has to be dug up. So I wouldn't even have the time to be down there because I was there at 9 o'clock. I don't have the time to be down there. I get up in the morning, I got tests that I'm sure you to do. When I was up this morning, I was blasting the surface over there, coating it early in the morning, getting that to dry, setting up the projector. I swapped the lamps out because the lamp in that one basically has a damage. So I had to remove it, put another lamp inside of it, a backup lamp. Load up all my projectors I have in here, get ready to get this screen set up for the uh, aqua screen. And I still have to go to Home Depot uh, Saturday to go pick up um, a sheet of plexiglass because I need to coat that with this that blue, new blue technology we're working on right here, but an advanced version of it to get an invisible version of it. So yeah, this is where I'm going to be at for a while and this is what I'm going to be doing, a lot of research. And some of the stuff I can't even show. Uh, let's go with another tank too. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can we do oh, There's another one. There's a really good one. I can't remember what it was. It was a 3D core reef. It was something crazy. We did it for a ceiling. That would be really, oh, that would be sick. If I can find that, that's a really sick design. All right, I'm going to find some creepy stuff while we're doing this because when I do 3D virtual um, uh, ocean explorers, there's some really wild stuff that comes up. Giant octopus, sea monsters, all that crazy stuff. Uh, let's see, um, I remember it was, uh, let's see, 360 Coral Reef. I do need one of those projectors. You gotta put a projector in the theater room. It's gonna have to be then shift. It's definitely gonna be long term. Definitely gotta put it in the booth. So we're just gonna need that extended for lens for it. Let me see what we got going on with this. I did when I had my whole ceiling painted, I would just lay on the floor and do this, just go look through stuff. I 
I was kind of curious how people try to fish just disappear like that. That would have freaked me out right there because I would think something really big is coming. But I guess, yeah, there are bigger things in the ocean. We all know that there's all kinds of interesting larger fish in the ocean. But I guess you would know because if something really that big came along, all the fish would be on. If you're in the ocean all the fish disappear, you're screwed. There's something big coming. It's like you go in the woods, you don't hear any animals. Like, what happened to all the freaking animals? We don't hear anything. Yeah, animals took off. But this is freaking cool stuff. Right but they had another one actually that moved by itself. That's pretty cool. I, like that. I love these. Why we want to do the the, uh, the rear technology because I need for the tank to be off the wall. Some people will paint it to the wall. You can do that, but we need the display. If you're going to be doing a display, some, some, especially something for your um your home theater setup, you want to have a tank out there, and you want to have like a glass display off the wall or plexiglass. How we can do it and encode it with this technology. That way, it's going to stand alone by itself. And the prototype, I've got to build a lot of prototypes this week. The prototype we want to design, I want to have it in the middle. So like somebody want to put it in the middle of a walkway, it's got to be able to accept light from either side. That's where Sun Killer technology came from, the stuff we're testing. All that stuff is being tested for future technology we're going to be working on. So if I want to do an aqua screen right in the middle of maybe a walkway, it has to be able to absorb light out one end and out the other without fading. And what's the best thing to test it on? Sunlight. If you can get a screen to generate through sunlight, everything else will run through it. There you go. That's why you have to do those brutal tests. Because again, I'm not going to walk into an establishment and look like an idiot. So all these tests have to be done. So we got a technology now that we figure that we could feed sunlight through it inside. Sure, man, we could run that stuff through anything. So that's what we're going to do with this stuff. But I want it to have a more of a kind of... Um, what I'm looking for, I want the colors to pop much, much higher than this, way higher than this. I want it to look unreal, like something insane. And I want these fish to be moving in and out of this thick glass. But we're not going to do this on thin glass. We're going to advise to do it on a very thick piece of glass, maybe add a little wave to it. And then that way, when you coat it with the technology, the fish will move in and out on either side, giving that kind of a visual effect. See, that's what I'm talking about by when I explain to people at the end of the day, no disrespect, but I don't think the same way you guys think at the end of the day. I think at a different level, at a different speed. Ever since I got that projector map and equipment, it's like I want to do screens that are not just to the wall. I want something where it can be in the center of the floor and then I can project an image like an orb or a sphere or something like that. This is actually pretty cool and I like these right here. Other, we did a screen that we could submerge underwater and project an image to it. Why would we do that? 
because if I want to design a customized glass screen and I want to push it under a waterfall and put a projector on the other end, I can literally push fish right through a piece of glass while water is cascading down the side of the screen. That's what I'm talking about by doing things way outside the box. I'm kind of tired of them today just doing screens on the wall. I've been here and done it too many times. I'm looking for other ways to basically use projector technology on a different level. And now projectors are more than just for own theater now. People use them for design, artwork, projector mapping, visual effects, all kinds of stuff. So that's the direction I'm going to. Certainly designing stuff for home theater, but I want to do other applications besides that. That is so freaking cool. I love quarries. Buddy of mine bought a 180-inch, 80-inch gallon tank. She was Louise. That's pretty interesting. I was kind of curious what he's going to put in. He's going to do salt water or fresh water. I'm curious what he's going to do with it. Does this one move or do I have to move it? The other one I didn't have to move. Oh, this one does move pretty much on its own. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is absolutely perfect. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. This is what I was looking for. Because the other ones were just flat. Just flat. Fish are moving back and forth. You see that? But this is actually moving around. And does it have you? It does have. Oh, but it's too short. Why do they do that? Why are the good ones so sh they make them so short? Why do they do that? It's jacked up. That was actually pretty good. I'm gonna still subscribe to that channel. I definitely like that one. That was pretty cool. I like that. and we start doing more stuff with this um, aqua technology or visual aqua technology or projection, visual aqua technology, I am probably going to hire a scuba diver to go down there and get, get, um, and get um, uh, footage for us. That would be incredible. Of course, that would be expensive, but still it would be worth it. Because we've had our own footage that we belong to us. Wait, is this it? Stingrays moving in the water, they're actually floating in the water. 
It has got to be in front of them. And you look at all this, if you're swimming down there, all that unexplored territory that you've got to look. Probably other people have seen it, but you haven't got a chance to see it. I can see why people are obsessed with the ocean. I love it. good simulator. This is a really good one. It's, it's crazy. You're on a sunken ship. And it's so cool. I've done this in VR. You're on this sunken ship. Underwater. And this huge mass of whale comes up out of nowhere. There he is. pretty cool one. Kind of throws you off guard because you don't see it. If you look in another direction, I was actually looking in another direction until I was right in my face. It's pretty cool. That's a pretty good one right there. I remember that one. I definitely remember that one. Now, another one has a good one too. Uh, PS4 has this thing called Summertime Fun where you actually do a VR carnival. Oh my goodness, the underwater expert. expert I'm really going to call it. What do you want to call it? But anyway, the underwater um, expert. Well, I can't think of the name, but you know what I'm talking about. Anyway. And you actually get into this little submarine and you go around, you start off this really beautiful coral reef and you go a little deeper, you end up in this kind of like underwater kind of Atlantis and then you're met with a sea monster. It is insane. Freaking real, it's so amazing. And that when it hits the ship, there's water leaking in, you look down, there's water all around you, it is crazy. It's an emergency up, up, up surface, it's crazy, I love it. I'm 
gonna track down this video. He bought a 235.1. I'm just gonna buy his off him because I need it for work. Next time I'm gonna ask if I can borrow it, I'll buy it wherever it's gonna be different. But we need a 235.1 to do the fish display because it comes out much better. So you want to take a better, it's a better fish tank at 235.
you can a bit more back. Uh, it's the Sonic at 235.1. be doing with the third stuff they're gonna be selling for the product we're doing screens, screen paints, and projector packages for screens. We'll come with projectors, some will have like uh, sound bars, you can select that with speakers you want, the website's gonna be pretty cool. So you can set that with speakers you want, lighting, all kinds of stuff. I want to do something we have everything all in one. Like you can select the furniture, everything, the whole nine yards on the website. You can choose how you want to do your dedicated system. Everything is right there on the site. These are some of the ideas I'm running to them that, you know, stuff you might want to have on the site, on our new website. So we can't wait for all that. That's going to be awesome. And I'm trying to find that paper.
has in this play. What about a ceiling? We did one for a ceiling. I'm going to check in the back. Enough. You're to update your shipping information. You've got to. It's not my responsibility, people. You've got to update it on your account. You should have to update this on the account. You ship this to me. You ship that to the address it goes out to. That is your responsibility, not mine. My goodness. Ship it to whatever comes up on the address. I've already had this conversation all the time. Uh, let me see. Um, I need to find more. We had it for a ceiling display.
video. We just can't figure out exactly where we got it from. Found it. This is the video I was hunting for. There he found it. We managed to find it in 360 scuba diving. I found it. Always subscribe to this channel. Yes! Found it!
that the one was the first and the one when I threw it was. The plate's different. Maybe it's on a console system. that we don't need to send. The color see how the blue is better here than here this is not coated this is actually coated this little square piece i want to see if there was a difference when we do the coating when we put it on versus a surface that's not coated let me go ahead and grab um Sixty scuba diving. Oh, I didn't put that in there, but I requested the whole thing. 360 scuba diving. Come on, let's freaking 360 Xbox. Sorry, we call it Xbox. We're going to get together. 360 scuba diving. All right, let me walk over here. Grab these freaking headsets. What I'm doing wrong here. Uh, let me get the microphone first. I have no idea why I had so much problems with the freaking game system giving me what I asked for. Let's try it again. 360 scuba diving. Gee, 
pues. So the PC application is a little different from the gaming application. Hmm. What is this one? Scuba diving with GoPro Max. I want to check out that other one too. Scuba diving with GoPro Max. All right. Scuba diving with GoPro Max 360. All right. That one. Ugh, went in south.
fiction for stuff I always on trip over. So I'm kind of doing some research here on why I'm looking at all of this. Something that I need to see.
temperature.
labels for the orders. All right, people, just doing some things around here real quick. I'm gonna lay down and retire. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I had to put this up. Uh, start getting ready for the labels for this. What am I doing my labels? Stay away from my stamp, please. I appreciate it.
right, people. I gotta go. I have much I gotta do. Welcome to the video demonstration. Thank you for your time. And God bless.